What is popping YouTube? It's your boy just saying today we have ourselves my Banshee tank build that I did post um, gameplay of the other day. A lot of people have been wanting to know like why is it so tanky and how does it work exactly. So without further ado, let's get into my stats. You can see I got 5100 firearms, 6900 stamina, 2800 electronics. Um, throughout the whole 1.6 meta, everybody's been saying don't run stamina, it's useless, it's useless, it's useless. But I'm here to tell you there is a reason to roll stamina if you wanted to have this playstyle. So the weapon I'm using is Navy MP5. Um, you can see it's very low um, base damage. But for a reason, I'll get into it. I have deadly, responsive, and competent, so I can get the full damage out of having no base damage versus having to run super, super like glass cannon able to do damage. I can get upwards to like I believe like 21k um, base damage after competent and adding responsive and adding the 10% out of cover, adding all those things. So I'm able to kill people. Um, the build is four piece um, banshee um, with barrettes and specialized. My barrettes bulletproof vest is roll for stamina. It has health and it has um, two firearms mods with health just so I can get enough to unlock responsive. Um, it's very important to have responsive. I don't know how much more I can say that because you need to be able to do as much damage as possible. Banshee shadow mask with crit chance and uh, also roll for stamina. This also has um, a firearms mod with health. Going to my knee pads, it's rolled for stamina with health as well. You'll see I have a firearms mod with health with the first aid self heal. Specialized backpack, roll for stamina with health. With firearms with health, first aid self heal, double. I don't need savage gloves, so I'm rocking Banshee shadow gloves. You know, the best version I can since I'm using SMG. Crit chance, crit damage, SMG damage. And a Banshee shadow also roll for health with a first aid self heal mod so that's the build in its entirety the reason the build is so tanky is as you can see i have 410 standing toughness which is amazing period um whenever i'm rogue i get a 10 percent damage resistance um against players who aren't rogue so it's 10 percent added on top of my current toughness it doesn't show um even if i'm rogue it doesn't show like that it's just it's like having 10 percent resistance so you're basically nerfing them by 10 percent at all times and you'll see when I'm not, or when I, while I'm not rogue, killing rogues, I get 10% damage on top, and that doesn't negate out my 10% damage out of cover. So that's 20% damage extra towards rogues at all times. And if I get killed by one, which is seldom, um, I go up to 20%. So that's a that's 30% damage. So I don't really need high firearms in order to have the best effect with this build. I'm able to do the job well, and I'm able to tank. So with one clip I can kill somebody so it's not really an issue if I land my bullets but the fact is I get to outlive them without even having to worry about popping heals and actually before we even get into my other stuff let me just show you guys how amazing it is when I get in low health let's see hopefully this will get me here yeah so if I pop this pop this with this you'll see my toughness goes up to 594 and that's not including the 10 percent damage reduction while i'm rogue you know what i'm saying so that's just the crazy like tank capabilities that the build itself has um it's really useful run booster shot always because that that just adds to the resistance run uh scrambler because that that's another very 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 important thing um if you negate all their crits buffs that they get from their pulses it's just amazing it just works out perfectly fine with the abilities that you do have and the resistances that you have you're just able just to basically tank any build i don't care even if they have a crit hole out you, you can comfortably just run around hit firing or face tank them for a little bit without even worrying especially if you have your crit save proc it's just ridiculous um the talents i use triage um because i do play this with a team build a lot and i like getting my skills back so this gives me like a little sense of uh tactician's authority with it Critical save, one of the most important, if not the most important thing for this build in particular. Um, strike back and on the move. So, as you guys saw, I had 594 toughness. That was without on the move. So, if I added on the move on top of that, I go up to almost 700k. So, it's crazy, dude. It's it's just like the ultimate tank experience while I'm able to dish out DPS. So, that's pretty much the build in its entirety. Um, we'll go into my actual stat sheets. Crit chance, 33%. Crit damage, 108. Headshot, 55. Um, we'll go to my survivability, 280k max health, 31%. Um, armor mitigation, and that's not including, you know, when Barrett's procs and when the proc that I have from Banshee. So, 
add all this up you have critical save on the move booster shot with bread's bulletproof on cooldown with the 10 percent reduction while you're rogue or the 20 percent if you get killed by a rogue so just add all those buffs up and you have the tankiest dz build ever so yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed it um i'll be have i'll be posting more gameplay on it um i actually have a long gameplay that i posted yesterday on it if you guys whoever didn't see the last video um that's the gameplay on it so without further ado thank you guys for stopping by banshee tank build bro